Hey, what's going on, crew? It's your boy Serrano, and today we're going to be doing a gaming test for the Ulephone Note 12P. Stay locked in. What's going on, guys? So we're going to do a gaming test for the Ulephone Note 12P, and this is a budget device that you could pick up for about $160, and... It has a 6.82 inch display, 720 by 1640, you know, low graphics with the Unisoc SC9863A, which is a little different. And it has a huge battery, 7,700 milliamp hour battery. So we're going to jump into some PUBG real quick and just kind of test it out and see how this thing performs. But has some really nice weight to it, a really nice design on the back, triple cameras on this guy, Android 11. So definitely not a gaming phone but it does game let me just show you a couple of the um games that i do like starting off with one of my favorites which is PUBG, and um you can get first blood with this you definitely can get first blood um it has 263 pixels per inch um do drop notch at the top 80 by 880.4 uh screen to body ratio android 11 like i said um, as far as the CPU on this thing, it's going to be pretty decent. Uh, Octa-core um, uh, IMG8322 on here. So you can get kills on this thing, even though it's low graphics. It does perform pretty decent. Decent, um, decent, decent movement on here. It doesn't lag crazy. So you can, you can get the assist. You can get you can draw blood you know what i'm saying in this game 13 megapixel in the back 2 megapixel macro 2 megapixel for portraits uh but as far as the gaming for PUBG, it was pretty decent i was able to get a lot of kills on here right it's not going to have stereo speakers so i just kind of want to throw that out there but um I'm, i was actually able to compete we competed to the end in this match you can see it's like almost tied up right now we were down two kills at this point but i was trying to sell, uh, scavenge for kills real quick like a hyena but like i said before it's gonna be pretty decent you're gonna love the battery life on this thing for the low cost that this thing does have to offer um and it didn't get hot at any point in time in my hand when i was doing the gaming test and it only drained about 10 percent within like like pretty much 45 minutes of gaming like to an hour so i think that was pretty decent for you know this gaming phone well not the gaming phone but for the overall performance of this guy but I was able to get some decent performance. I was able to get 11 kills in this particular match, which was pretty decent. Um, so let's just jump into the next game, which is going to be Jumanji Epic Run. And this is actually a really fun game because, you know, if you follow the movie from back in the day with Robin Williams, it was actually one of my favorite movies of all time. They did like a rerun of it. So don't watch the rerun, watch the original one with Robin Williams and stuff. But like I said, Jumanji Run is actually really cool. It's got some really good graphics, really good colors. It's very responsive. There wasn't any hiccups or stutters on this thing. Um, overall reaction time was pretty decent. Like I said, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on here. You do get a loudspeaker, so it does have some pretty decent quality when it comes to listening to it, right? But the only thing about this thing, the only caveat is that if you're in a noisy environment, you won't be able to hear. So you probably want to throw on some headphones or whatever. But uh, let's just jump into the next game, which is going to be the the this racing game. And this racing game is like when you're on a highway and you basically get to race other competitors. You can race online or you could just race the computer and everything like that but i really like this game because you can actually use a bluetooth remote control with it but i'm just going to stick with the handheld performance so you guys can see how that looks with the handheld performance because a lot of people don't own bluetooth controllers and you're probably going to think like i'm cheating or whatever but the overall performance of this was pretty smooth it, i didn't experience any stutters whatsoever it didn't hiccup it didn't lag at any point in time and this is a pretty decent game when it comes to processing power so like I said before, this this phone was actually impressing me when it came to the overall speeds, overall performance, overall reaction time. It was released in August, you know, not August, October 25th, 2021. Well, that's when it was announced, but then they, they actually released it 
um shortly after that which was kind of crazy so it does have a ips lcd display so it will have some a little bit of glare every once in a while you can also play um, call of duty mobile with the gyroscope so i definitely like the fact that they did um, support the gyroscope feature on here you could you could toggle that on because i know a lot of people want to know if you do have access to the gyroscope feature on here but this level was actually like really i'm not gonna front like it was kind of hard to compete with this game because like there were so many shadows and I couldn't really like see like where everybody was at to be 100% honest with you. There's like a lot of shadows in this level, which is weird. And there's, there's like snipers everywhere. So it's really hard to get first blood. Um, not only that, like the reaction time isn't the quick quickest in the entire world, but you can keep up, right? You definitely can keep up if you're gaming on here. If you're the type of person that likes to compete, you can you can you can compete you're not going to be able to like torch the competition or anything like that or get the um the one up on people because the speeds aren't that quick where you can one up somebody but you can definitely compete and you can definitely like get kills and stuff like that but i was just having a real difficult time like seeing where people were at because of this level like obviously he was like lurking in the shadow or whatever to get that kill so i wasn't able to able to see him anyway but you know just to be 100% honest with you I, I did draw blood like one time but it was like I was I was really struggling in this game I thought I was actually better than I than I thought I was I, I was actually performing really trash in this game so I just want to apologize that for that I kind of played my game is kind of PUBG mobile on this 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 um same type of the multi match or whatever so obviously I was doing pretty pretty bad when it came to to getting kills and stuff like that but i was able to draw blood like one time or whatever right there so you know it was it was a pretty decent um performance on here you if you if you're the type of person who plays call of duty mobile then you'll probably do a lot better than i did but i did get one kill on here but like i said those shadows were just throwing me off but another game that you can play is this this game right here I think it's called Wild Rift or something, but a lot of people like this game because it has that, 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 what's that, that word for games where like, it's kind of like Grand Theft Auto or whatever, where you can just kind of like, I forget what the, the genre of game that this is, but this genre of game is definitely pretty solid because you're going to be having multi le um, levels, you're going to be ha having multi online players on this thing, uh, you can actually level up you can you can um it's really crazy i really like this game because it's so complex it's so um so in depth when it comes to the weapons that you can use the powers you can change different characters on here and just kind of like level up but honestly there i didn't i didn't see any hiccups to the naked eye let me know if you see any hiccups to the naked eye but uh, just to say the least, just to say less, this was extremely playable. I, I had no issues whatsoever. Let me know if you could spot out any lag or stutter and leave a comment down be down below and let me know how you think this was performing. But I definitely think like the overall action on here was pretty good. I, I, I don't think you, you could probably download Genshin Impact on here and play that too, but it's just a really large game that requires a lot of storage and stuff like that and you probably definitely will experience hiccups with that game so that's why i didn't load it because i already figured that it wasn't going to compete but if you can play like PUBG on here you can definitely play um you know what i'm saying you could definitely play genshin impact and everything like that or genshu impact but yo this this game was pretty decent it was definitely a pretty decent experience just to say the least but uh like i said before you're getting android 11 you're getting the unisox sc9863a which is different you're also getting a huge battery which is going to be crazy and i'll make sure i leave the cheapest links down below where you could pick up this device keep in mind you can get it for a buck 30 if you get it from aliexpress if you get it from amazon it's going to be a buck 60 right so you'll save 30 dollars, but you'll just have to wait like an extra week right um you know the cameras on here are pretty decent I'll, I'll make sure to test those in another video but as far as uh this game right here called roblox 
you could definitely um, have some fun with this game. There weren't, it was able to play this game without any stutters or anything like that. So I was actually pretty impressed with the overall gameplay of this device, since considering that it's not supposed to be used as a gaming phone, but the large 6.82 inch display just made it very immersive, very, um, I felt like I was having a i felt like I was, I was having a really good game experience with this let me know down below what you guys think about the overall um look of each game let me know which one if, is your favorite game to play like let me know if you have a favorite game to play on android or what and stuff like that because i definitely like gaming on android it has a lot of like i remember when i first got a flip phone and i remember i played like tetris and all, all these other weird games that were like really low graphics then they started coming out with really good uh phone like phones just started getting better and then the graphics kept getting better so now it's like dreamcast quality graphics now so it's definitely something that i i, I could recommend if you're the type of person that just likes to mess around just to say the least it's going to be a pretty decent experience on here so you do to get a dedicated SD card, SD yeah SD card slot for expanding the storage and stuff like and stuff. And you can also um, you get four gigabytes of RAM on here, sixty four gigabytes mm -hmm. of internal storage. I wasn't able to like move my games down, uh, move it to the SD card, but I was able to move like photos, videos, pictures, movies, files, and stuff like that to the SD card, which is pretty cool. But one of the things that you're going to notice is when you put your SD card inside of your device, make sure you get a, a expensive SD card. Make sure it's not like a cheap one because the one I was using let me do it to portable, right? It did let me do it to, to portable storage, but then I wasn't able to move my app. So I think it had something to do with the card that i was using i should i should have bought the sand disc but i actually bought the giga the the giga stone one which kind of sucks but um as far as the overall game experience this was playable on every single game that i played so leave a comment down below let me know if you enjoyed this video if you did make sure you hit the like button and show your support and appreciation i truly appreciate that i truly appreciate you for watching the entire video to the end right I, I i definitely appreciate that but let me know what you guys think about the elephone 12p in the comment section and i'm gonna get right back with you i'll check you guys later but in the meantime make sure you have a great morning afternoon evening and depending on where you are later crew peace